Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to be doing a Nazi zombies thing right now. Um, I think this is just going to be a little short video because um, my screen capture <clears throat> program sucks right now. I'm going to need to get a new one. I don't even know how this is going to look. Um, so yeah, we're going to do we're doing a map, Nocturne and Toten. Um, this is from Nazi zombies. It's a recreation of Nazi zombies from World of World at War. Um, uh, Call of Duty World at War. And sorry if there's a lot of lagging. I think the server needs some help, but I'll do the best I can. Um. So yeah. My video recorder is only like letting me record for like three minutes right now, so that's really stupid. So I might cut out and try and get back in a couple seconds later because of the video recorder. Okay. So yeah. Also, it doesn't help that there's like a hundred people on the server, so. I think that's definitely slowing it down because it is as glitchy as I'll get out. And I don't know who this guy is. It's just some guy on the server who's playing with me. So please don't judge me on his poor decisions. Hmm. So yeah, there's even doors that you can repair. It's pretty cool. Um, the remake itself looks pretty good. There's items, but it's pretty much just swords, and like the more zombies you kill overall through each of your games, you'll level up, and so you, you could actually end up starting off with a... you could actually end up starting off with a, a bow and arrow, or a diamond sword, or better armor, or more, more uh, stake, and so that's pretty cool. Um, there are like some bad things. Oh, this, okay, I guess I can't do that. There are some bad things in the game itself, like the glitchiness. And sometimes when you just walk into walls, it thinks that you're trying to like go into an area that hasn't been unlocked yet or something. Like, I'll show you later upstairs, it's just a pain in the butt. Um. So, there's that. Oh, goodness. They're getting free. Sorry about that. Um, my recorder just cut out. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm almost dead. I don't know where my partner is, but... I'm gonna need some... Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, okay. I guess that's all. <laughs> um, so that was fun, I guess. Oh, he already died. He died a while ago. That's why there's so many zombies. Cause there's my partner, and he just died already. Um, so yeah, there's there's some cool things. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maps seven maps. One of them you have to like vote for on a website to get a access to it. There's like a parkour thing over here. I don't know exactly where it gets. It goes up to like this blue area. I haven't, I've yet to get to there. I, I dropped a, I came up once that I got up to the stairs and then I fell down here and I actually fell off. So I don't know what's up there. I don't think it, it might just be nothing but, so there's that. So, um, how to start a game. Step 1, select a map you want to play on. Step 2, right click the sign with the map name. Step 3, select a class. Step 4, slay zombies. And you see there's different classes. Rank progression, rank points needed, class unlock. Right. So, 0 kills, this is what you start off as default. Still alive, 750 kills, and you become an archer. Survivalist, 5,000 kills, you get survival, 
Um, Zombie Bane, 10,000 kills. Swordmaster, Untouchable, um, 25,000 kills. Perfectionist, and it like the bottom ones are the names that you have, the classes you choose. And 50,000 is tank. And I believe that is just crazy armor, a bunch of food, and like an iron sword. So yeah, I'm just going to get in here real quick and show you the different names. So archer, survivor, swordmaster. Oh, I guess it's the same thing. I swear I read it somewhere. Huh. Okay, well I guess I'm going to do this. It might just automatically cut me into the game if nobody else comes. <laughs> 